Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome back to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms and go over leak code questions. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash that like button because that helps me create this content for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's problem. Today we're looking at the problem post order traversal of a binary tree. And I just wrote out um, what the order of that traversal is. So for this traversal, we need to consider the left node first, and then the right node, and then finally uh, the node that we're on. So let's take an example here and see how we're getting um, the result of a post-order traversal from a tree like this. Okay, so I've written out the order here. So going from the top root um, three, what we're going to do is go to the left. And then we're here at nine and then we'll go to nines left and then there is a, a none here so we are going to try to go to nines right and again we have a none and then finally we're going to take account of the node and write that here so that's how we get our first node nine okay next we're going to go back up to here three and we can see that the right side has not been processed so in order to process this we're going to go to three's right which is 20 and then 20 is left, since left has the first preference here. And then at 15, we're again going to um, go to 15's left, which is a none, 15's right, which is a none. So we're going to go back and take account of this node here, which is 15. So we're done this. And then next, we're going to go to 20's right, which is 7. And then 7's left is none. 7th right is none, so we're going to put 7 here as the last node. Okay, so we've processed all of this, and then we're now back up to 20, and at 20, we are just going to account for the node that is remaining. So 20, and then we're back to 3 here, and we can notice that we haven't processed this node, so we need to put 3 as our last um, answer here in our list, and return this list. Okay, so the trick to solving this problem iteratively is to put it in a stack and also use a flag here. So we are going to put in the node value and also a flag to indicate when we need to take this node out. So for example, here, we're going to start from the root and we can put this value in first and set this value to true and you'll see why we're doing this. So on the left node, we are going to initially set this so we're going to actually go to the right first because we want the left one to be on top right so we want the left node 9 to be processed first because in the res we want the 9 first here so we're going to actually put the right node here after and then say hey this is not uh, processed and then we are also going to put in the left node at last because this is the top of the stack, so this is where we're going to pop out of. So I'm going to put in this nine and false here, and what what's gonna happen is um, after we have done this with one node, we are going to uh, go to the top of the stack, and we are going to process and check if this node is, um, is, with the flag true. So the flag true means that, okay, we are ready to put this node into our res. So as you can see here, the nine is not, um, the flag is not true. The flag is actually false. So when we pop this out, what we're going to do is we will do the same thing. So the node we're on, we're going to set this to true saying, okay, we've visited it. And we are going to put this back in to our stack. So we've pop this out and now what we're going to do is put this back saying hey nine is true and nine's left which is none we're going to say this none to false and nine's sorry nine this is nine's right because we're going to put right first and then we are going to put um nine's left here which is also none to false so what's going to happen in the next iteration is these two false are going to um, pop out and not going to be processed because we'll check if the node is none or not. And then when we are here, we can see that, oh, this is visited to true. 
And when something is visited to true, we are going to put that in our res. So let me write the code out. I feel like with this one, it's better to see the code and then look at the picture and then make sense of it. Awesome, so I've initialized our res here. So this is the res that we're going to return. And our stack currently has the root node, which is the three here. And um, we have initialized this as false, as not visited. So I'm going to say while there is something in the stack, um, we are going to pop that node. So we will say, um, we're going to pop the node and if it is visible or not, right? So we will say node and then we can say uh, flag or visited. However, I think visited is a better, um, or yeah, we can say flag actually. Because when the flag is true, that's when we want to put this into our res. So we will set this equal to st.pop, okay? And then we want to check if the node is none or not. If it's um, if there if the node is not none, that is when we want to um, do all our processing. Okay, actually, I meant to say not node here. So if the node is, yeah, if the node is not none, okay. So this is when when we want to do the processing. So we can say that if it is. Uh, if the flag is true, so we can say if flag, that means it's time to append it to our um, res here. So if flag, then we are going to put that node's value um, into the res. So res.append, and we are going to put in node.value. Okay, else, what we want to do is to put, so we're at three here, so we're going to put, um, we're going to append to the stack st.append and we will put threes right first. So we will say node.write. Um, right. And then we will append the nodes left. So here. Okay, we actually need to put the node in first. So we will say st.append. Because looking at the stack here, I can see that the node needs to go in first. So we'll say st.append node, um, and then we're going to do st.append node.write, and then st.append node.left. Okay, so we have put in the node, the right, and the left. So when it's popping, it's going to pop from the top. So in the next iteration, it will pop. So let's write this. Yeah, so in the next iteration, it's going to pop this nine, right? And it's going to go to the, it's going to check if nine is not none, yeah, which is true. And then if flag, it's not going to, it's not going to go into this if statement because it's set to false currently. Um, oh, let me set the flags here, I forgot that. So we want to set the node to true. Okay, so that's what we've done here. And then we're going to set the right and left to false. We'll say false and false. Okay, and then lastly, we wanna return the res. Okay, so when this is popped out, we are going to go to the left and we're going to go to the right of nine and we will put those values in as none and false. And then, so we, oh yeah. So as per this, we need to put in the node as true. So we'll put in nine as true. So yeah, just imagine there is a nine here and true, and then none false and none false. So then in the next iteration, when it's popped, these none falls are not going to be processed because the node is none, right? So then when it comes to here, it's it in this order, it's going to take the nine as true and then put it in here as nine, right? Because if flag, because our flag is true. So if we follow this pattern where we first put in the node as true, then we put the node.right as false and then node.left as false, and if we keep following this pattern, it does give us the result in the post-order traversal.
I just drew like a new stack just because this one was getting a little bit messy and I put the values that are already there in the stack. So now we're looking at the next value which is 20 and F. So this in the next iteration, this is what's going to be popped. So we have here 20 and we have false. So if we look at our logic here, so since this is the flag is false, what we want to do is we will go to the else condition here and I added the double brackets because it takes in two values here. So we're here in the else and we're going to put back this 20 as true. Okay, and then we're going to evaluate the right and left children. So if we go to 20's right here, seven, um, so we are going to um, put this in as false. So we will say seven is false. And then we will go to 20's uh, left here, which is 15. And we will, when we follow this, we are going to set this to false as well. Okay, so I hope you understand how this part is working. Now, in the next iteration, we're going to pop out from the top here, which is going to be 15. And we are going to put the node as true. So we will put first 15 as true, and then we will go to 15's left and 15's right, both of which are going to be none and false. Okay. So when these two are evaluated, they are not in this, does not go into this if, they're just ignored because we are not, we don't care um, if the node is none. We don't want to process them. So these two are going to get canceled out. And then we are left with 15 and true. So when it is true, when the flag is true, then we are going to append to the res here. So we are going to say 15. Okay, perfect. So we got we got done with the 20s left side. Okay, so now still in the stack, we have to evaluate seven. So this is our last um, node to iterate. And same thing with seven, we pop this out and then we are going to put back up here um, that seven's right is none, so none and we are going to flag this. First, we will put in, sorry, we'll put in seven as true as per this. And then you get the idea none as false and none as false. And these two, we do not take action. And then when we come to seven, we process this because this flag is true. So we will say seven here. And then lastly, we are just popping out of the stack here. So we will pop this 20. And since this is already set to true, we have 20 here. And then the last value is three. So this is what is going to go in our last position. Okay, I hope this helped you understand how to um, process this post order traversal using a stack. I know my diagram was a little bit messy, but I hope you get the idea with these three lines of code. We're just making sure that we flag things correctly so that they are put into the result in the order we want. Okay, let's go ahead and run this code. Make sure it's okay. Okay, awesome, accepted.